stop making happiness about what you do you see all this material on social media on YouTube how to achieve your goals how to realize your dreams how to achieve this get this and so on and so forth and not that I'm against any of that specifically but it's turning happiness into an outward phenomenon yet again I remember a while back hearing or reading somewhere this little story about this prostitute who came to be initiated into a particular master's order. I can't remember who it was or what it was specifically. She came in and she seemed um, a bit concerned to the master and he said, what's troubling you? And she said, I'd like to join, I'd like to be initiated into your order, if we can call it that. My concern is that you know I'm a prostitute and he said what's the problem you're you know you're welcome uh, some years passed two years three years or whatever the case may be and um, she decided that she was ready to go back out into the world and join society again so once again she was concerned and she was preoccupied and um, she approached the master and, and said to him, you know, I am ready to go back out into the world, but I'm afraid, you know, I don't know what I should do. My only profession is that of a, a prostitute. And um, I looked at her and said, well, what's the problem? Go back out and be a prostitute. The issue is not what you do that matters. It is who you are while you're doing it that is paramount. This is a very interesting story because most of us in this current day and age, we are clued in, we're hip to these modern ideas of empowerment, spiritual empowerment, that's all within and so on. But to what degree do we really subscribe to this truth and to what degree do we apply it and practice it in our daily lives? Another thing is that comes up with this is are we being integral then in terms of our inner inspirations and our outer aspirations? How aligned are they? I mean, we may know that it is an inner job, specifically happiness. We may know that it is an inner job. But to what degree are we really believing this and to what degree are we applying it this truth in our day to day so for us to stop making it about the things that we do and realizing that happiness essentially as I've come to understand it, is directly an offshoot of self-knowledge, self-knowing, to know the self. And I don't mean, as I always repeat in these videos and elsewhere, the self that is related to our form, in other words, the body and our identity and our name and our nationality and our sex and our cultural affinity and, and so on, all of this stuff. This isn't the self that when we say know thyself and when we say that happiness is directly an offshoot of self-knowledge, this isn't the self that we are talking about. Although certainly knowledge 
of that identity, that image that we take ourselves to be, is not necessarily a defeating process. But the true self that we are referring to is not that. It's not the body. It's not the mind. It's not that egoic identity. It's not the image. But something beyond that, something I'm hesitating to say deeper because it isn't a question of depth either. Because that self is all encompassing. It knows neither depth nor shallowness or superficiality. It's beyond that. So that happiness that we hunger for so desperately in one form or another and that our lives has become a strategy to try to achieve whether it's through doing or through achieving or whatever the case may be for you specifically that happiness that we long for so desperately it needs to be understood that it is a manifestation of lack of self-knowledge so simply it can simply be said that unhappiness is a direct manifestation of ignorance or in this case lack of self-knowledge so ignorance of self again not that self that is related to my form my identity my image that which is known about me and that is learned but something again hesitate to use the word deeper but let's go with that something deeper more fundamental so happiness can be realized with self-knowledge so it isn't a product of doing it isn't a product of having happiness is not a product of achievement happiness is a product of self-knowledge and there is a reason for that and it's a remarkable reason it is because happiness is part and parcel of our essential nature it is who we are it is our starting point in life it isn't an achievement not something that we can achieve it's who we are by right of birth it is our starting point and we are here to celebrate it and to share it and to recognize it to acknowledge it not to achieve it not to achieve it it's not possible to achieve happiness happiness is simply the direct offshoot of self-knowledge so my friends I hope this has been interesting um, if so let me know in the comments below this is Basa have a lovely day